Uh, 911 audio from the tornado thing from Indiana. Tornado thing. Oh, the tornado thing. Very tragic. 911 call? Uh, yes. Let's uh, go to it, see what this is see about. What it's in southern Indiana, residents of a mobile home park destroyed in Sunday's deadly tornado will be allowed home today. They are being given a couple of hours to search the wreckage for personal belongings. Meanwhile, we are now hearing frantic 911 calls that victims made in the wake of that storm. Twenty-two people died in the storm. Dozens are still in the hospital. That's just nuts. Are there people in those houses? No, there's uh, no trailer left over here. Yeah. Trailer park. Is this Wonderful. is this God's uh, thing? Is this God's will again? Of course it is. Yeah. The finger of God. Yeah, man. Just goes down there flicking fucking towns. Poof. That shit is insanity, man. I was thinking about these national disasters the last couple of days, and uh, you know, uh, some people are like, yeah, I see. It's uh, you know, it's just attacking uh, the poor people and. Mm -hmm. You know, the people that we don't really need on this earth. And, yeah. you know, New Orleans, look who they took out, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about that, like, ah, oh, that's pretty interesting, right? Yeah, but rich people, it's the, it's, they, well, they what, were different disasters. Well, no, what it comes down to, though, with these national, uh, these uh, natural disasters, a long, long time ago, our ancestors figured this shit out it for us. It was trial and error, they and figured thank this shit you. Out. I bet you there was a time they tried to build a city in uh, Tornado Alley and said, you know what, this shit ain't going to work. Gonna work nah. This ain't working, so we're going to move to a place that's a lot safer than this. Then they try down in uh, uh, New Orleans, and all of a sudden they get a flood from a hurricane. And they say, ah, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. We gotta stay away. Maybe maybe we'll move a little further the, up the coast. The educated people with the money well, South figure Florida, this. Let's face it, South Florida is not not a bunch of, a whole bunch of poor people. You know what I'm saying? No, but the, but they they get the hurricanes. Yeah, yeah. the hurricanes are serious that, business. But see, the whole Florida thing is a, is a new phenomenon. I mean, with the old people moving down there. Well, what thirty years? Not much more than that. But I'm talking about this other shit. Our ancestors, people that we have no idea what their names are in our own families, figured this stuff out. <laughs> fires, said. man. Fires always are burning up some rich people. And, and mudslides yeah. is always... It's rich people dealing mud with mudslides. Slides. That's California. The, California with the earthquakes and the mudslides. There's really nowhere... You, yeah, else that, you can go. You might as well abandon the state. Yeah, but then the, that know? comes down to people just saying, you know, I know the rest, but man, look at the view. Fuck it's it. Beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this. I, I'm talking about yeah. as a, as a whole society. Mm -hmm. You know, they decided not to build New York City in the middle of Tornado Alley. They knew it just would never, yeah, but never New York, work. New York City has a, um, has a day after tomorrow coming very soon. What? Uh, the, uh, an, an, an one of those gigantic tidal waves is on the way here. Ice Age tidal wave oh, thing. Shut up. As soon as the Canary Islands falls in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I watched that shit. It's <laughs> it's on the way here, man. The butterfly flaps his wings over Africa. And and, wow. uh, and the side of a, uh, the side of the Canary Mountains is going the Canary Mountain the Canary Islands uh -huh. are going to fall in the ocean. Make it a tsunami. And it's going to be a we giant even, tsunami. We even figured out all the risks a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, that may happen, but come on, stop. And we're on a fault line. Stop. New York City's on the fault line. Yeah, but yeah, that, those 113th and... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When was the last time you... 46 feet, there's a fault yeah. line. <laughs> when was the last time you felt a, a shake, rattle, and roll? Every in once in a while, York. you wake up and say, hey, we had an earthquake last night. Really? Did you feel it? No. no. <laughs> some, feel a thing. Some dopey broad in the middle of some suburb felt it. We got something natural to something coming. Uh, 18 feet of snow. Something delicious we is going to happen. We get unnatural Yeah, shit. but we figured it all out. We figured out the odds. We don't... We don't live in the where it snows like a mother and all that. And we, I'm happy about that. A long time ago, we're you. like we started paying attention, going, all right, well, uh, wanted a little warmer. We get fucking 767s. That's what we get. But na but the but the, uh, the 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 weather was a lot different, man. There's a lot of things happening. Industry causes a lot of bad weather, man. Like you know, yeah. There's hurricane. There's category. There's been 26 category 12s. <laughs> Since like uh, uh, August, th th but there's only been one category like five ever before. Can't that the shit six just this year. happened? It just happened. Can it just happen? Yeah. It's the the, wor the world. You know, is back getting, in the thirties, getting pissed off. Man. Back in the thirties and forties, this country was pumping out more 
goddamn coal. <laughs> there was like a constant layer of smoke over the country. <laughs> We've actually cleaned our shit up. Yeah, and yeah, we really did. Yeah. Back we, in the old days. And we just noticed more now because of 20 <laughs> smokestacks. When was the last time you drove around and just saw black smoke billowing out of smokestacks? As, like, chang, chang, as model T's are flying out of a factory. <laughs> chang, chang, that makes chang. That's a good point. We have cleaned up our shit pretty good. We're, We're getting fucking there. Clean. We haven't cleaned and, and it up. It's this, it's clean this, that shit up. It's this around-the-clock news and stuff. We just pay more attention. Anthony brought up a good point a few weeks back saying, hey, there was a time hurricanes and tornadoes and all this shit happened. You didn't have a warning, and you never even You're read about it. You're sitting on the beach in no fucking idea. the Gulf, and all of a sudden, such a nice day, but yeah, some clouds are rolling in, and there's just swirling death a few miles off there. You think we should leave? Hey, all the... Uh, uh, we'll just get a little yeah, rain. I think it'll do a little the, rain. The ocean just sucked away for six miles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go shell collecting. Yeah. I bet we get some good shells six oh, miles out. Oh, there's some fish laying right there. Bass, let's get some. <laughs> We're gonna eat good tonight. Listen, I I I want to go back in time and live where you know all this horrific shit was happening, and you don't even have a clue. There must know have about been it. a time and none. Uh, you know, in in the land we're sitting on right now, you know, just living our lives, and on the other oh. side of uh, on the other side of the world, just millions of people are dying, and you would, would go through your entire life Wouldn't and even have know no fucking clue. You know that there are people that did, no, it's it's not that people feel. There's people still living on the side of Mount Vesuvius. There's yeah. still people living in, in Pompeii or whatever. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Did yeah. no one move? Yeah, but that was the first thing we figured out. Obviously, all right, we're not going to build a city here. You know, it's no trial volcanoes. and error. It's trial and error. That's why <laughs> all the smarter here. That's why a lot of these national disasters happen in the poor areas. Because they're the people that moved in. Because they're the people that moved in. I'm telling you, a Republican. Why build a nice house in Tornado Alley when it's going to get destroyed? When you can just wheel your trailer home in. Someone, someone fires every week where rich people live. Where's that? Someone in the back. Colorado woods. The the all the big fires that burn down all those houses. All those rich white people's homes. Yeah, yeah. Because that's you know. Uh, no, he doesn't have a point. That's, that's a, Mother that, Nature? That, yeah, but then there's also people that are just stubborn in general. I'm talking about as a group, we figure this shit out. There's all, there'll always be the stubborn people going, fuck that. I'm building my you know, multi-million dollar house in the middle of Tornado When was Alley. the last time you saw a major city consumed by a that's forest what, fire? See, that's what I'm saying. Never, you know, never, that shit you know. don't happen because they say we're not going to build it there because that's where the fires happen. But you'll get like, I'm going to build my mansion right. right here on this hill. Right. Oh, so, okay, so what made the people build down the New Orleans where they built it? Black people didn't build New Orleans, but, but you know, some... it was a great port city. So wherever the port cities were, that's where uh, cities would pop up. But to just to to not just make it a port city and then build around it, live there, people should have stayed fucking back. Stay back. Let the railroads go in. Pick up your goods and take them to where the water it doesn't come up every so often. Those Ohio floods that happened twice a goddamn year. Those are those yeah. aren't a bunch of poor people. I don't think that. Um, just, I'm just. My point is. It's Ohio. It's mother. It's mother. It's <laughs> yeah. mother nature. They, it makes decisions. <laughs> This town is. No, this city it, has got something coming. No, but you, you think it does? You look at the look, seventy-five they got, feet of snow. They got the map of America right there. <laughs> yeah, you know where the the shit is most likely to happen, and and our ancestors figured that out they've a long been time saying ago. The, moved out of those areas. Been the, rich the big and the, uh, one is coming more fortunate. forever. California, In California. Yeah, the big they one. They keep warning us. It's like, hey, we don't know when, but yeah. the big one is coming. There's an asteroid with our name on it somewhere. Well, the asteroid, we're all fucked. But th we, it's, then when, we're all doomed. When it happens, it happens because this this planet gets bombarded every day with something from uh -huh. outer space. It's just a yeah. big Most block of, of cheese nice is about to hit. Small enough, it burns up. We have our protection. <laughs> but the big one, you just got to hope the Earth's turned a certain way. It's not on your house. It happens to be on the other people. side of the I'm Earth. So bad. It's just a thought I had. That's but poor all. people, I, and, you, and you know, I just thought the ancestors figured mm -hmm. out the, the good areas to live in. Poor and white moved people. out of these, these poor white areas. people. Poor so. white people. So. Poor white people get the tornadoes. You never fucking see black people no. going, everything was just taken away in one second. All the New Orleans, when's the last time you could think of it? I'm, I'm not a history goddamn major, but when's the last time you heard of a bunch of black people really? We, we deal with violence most of the time, uh -huh. poor black people. But when's the last time you heard of poor black Black folks, besides New Orleans, dealing with some goddamn wind or some water. You're right. Or big snow. or Never! You are absolutely right. 
This is because, a, this is a poor white Because problem. they live in the urban areas, and like we were saying, it's been figured out where to put urban areas. That why wouldn't they put, if it's, such, if it's racism like that, why wouldn't they put, why wouldn't they make the biggest projects in Tornado Alley? See? Let them niggas deal with that wind. Because we need to get our drugs, man. We don't want to travel too far. <laughs> Not only win. that, by the, time, <laughs> by the time we figured that shit out, you guys are already on to us. And we go, I'm not moving there. Ah, <laughs> oh, you hunkies. There you go. Trying to put us in the middle of the <laughs> tricky crack of wind. There you go. <laughs> Doing what you do. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is a paradise, Tyrone. You're going to move into this place. It's going to be wonderful. Where is it? Kansas. It's in Kansas. And... It's this luxury fucking apartment Where building. Is it? Kansas. <laughs> Kansas, Kentucky, <laughs> built a couple of them. Yeah. That's where them Jayhawks are, right? What Jay? Oh, yeah, beautiful yeah, Jayhawks. you're going to love it. You're oh. going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone in Kansas. <laughs> that, that shit is it's amazing, it is. man. Wind kills white Mother people. Nature, that's the arrogance, right? Right there. Mm -hmm. The arrogance. That's the. That's why people get their assholes eaten out. It's because <laughs> they don't. They just. There's nowhere you can go to stop. The, the the God's wrath. No, no, no way. There's no go. fixing it. There's no. Eventually, you're probably right. Eventually, New York will have some huge natural disaster. Something oh, nasty, yeah. but I think to happen. I think we're much more in danger of uh, ourselves, technology, we're, terrorism. We're an oceanside things like that. city or something. Whatever the water. We're we're on the Atlantic, aren't we? Somewhere. Yeah, but nothing yeah, happens here. Yeah. There ain't there there isn't this big fucking fault line running that's gonna make a tsunami. Yeah, Long Island. The water good... isn't crazy. It's not. And we got a bumper called Long Island. Long Island, a little things. buffer there. A little buffer. <laughs> that's <laughs> nice. Uh, keeping everything. Long Island. <laughs> you know. Fuck it. <laughs> What's really gonna happen? Exactly. It's just a stupid uh, theory. I uh, I'm working on. <laughs> yeah, you keep working on that just one. Poor, just poor people in the, dealing with this situation. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the ancestors. We had all of America. We're like, all right, hmm. Covered wagons, and settled try, down, and built a little village. Shit out, going, all right, let's build a town here. Oh, fuck, there's too many tornadoes, so we'll move it a little further I this think way, an a little further that way. way. Yeah. Like, why Chicago? Because Chicago's in the Midwest with all that yeah, but this, horse shit. It's another port city, though, Chicago. Chicago? Right on a, the lake. What? Right on the lake. A lot of commerce comes into Chicago on the lake. On the lake, the Great Lake. There's yeah, a Great but Lake, but but There's, is that isn't only? There are a lot of big no outlets. Is there an outlet for that lake? There you go. You could get up into Canada. You could get out. I didn't. Lewis and Clark find a way, or uh, okay. that other two guys. I don't know. The, the lakes are they're massive, man. And there were a lot of Henry cities. Hudson. There were a lot of cities on the lake, and uh, and now they're not rebuilding those areas anymore because they don't want to live there. Where's that? Like Buffalo. Oh, has its problems. Well, see, they that's a lot a stupid of, That's the dumbest city they had a in lot the of, United they States. They had a lot of industry up and down. I'll say it. Up Buffalo. and down the coast to the right. <laughs> that lake there. That is somewhere Why that... Is Buffalo the dumbest city? Years ago, when Opie was talking about when we would trial and error, you set up a little village. If it lasts, it builds. It gets bigger and bigger. If it gets blown away or frozen over or something, you move on. You go somewhere else. Buffalo, for some reason, decided, hey, this place is a fucking freezer... But, yeah, let's stay here. And every year they get snowed in to where, what, you walk down the sidewalks and the snow is over your head, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I spent like three uh, winters there. There's no it's reason gotta be to be, have a there. major city in that kind of cold. Sorry. But, God bless them. Wow, Sit there theory, watching they, their... Uh, they, just, they just knew where to build them. Like, yeah. they built them there and they said, oh, shit, this is... This how is many, how, win right how here. many get towns, here. how many of these, like, booming fucking honky-tonk piano-playing saloon places just blew away? Yeah. But like, then, this who, is great. Was, who was alive to go, maybe we should... It, listen to me. It would take too many years for trial and error to Couple go. Couple of hundred. You know what? That's where the Doppler what, is comes in. That's where you go. Oh, that people move now. They didn't move then. They stayed. No, I uh, think it, I think their town blew away, and they said, "Fuck this." And the architect Pack up died. the wagon. Yeah. We're going. Yeah, we're gonna. We're and gonna, then they'd hook up. We're gonna move else. to higher ground or whatever. What, what, what they, happened? They, they talk they, to some wait. people and go, "Did your town ever blow away here?" And they go, "No." All right, we'll build. Then yeah. they lick their index finger and go, "Okay, this, Weather report. Yeah, this feels okay here." All right, the let's finger. Just 5,000. <laughs> the finger 5,000. This took hundreds of years, and I think uh, we're still trying to figure that still out. Still trying to figure Definitely. it out. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, now we get hit by those 100, 200-year storm things that happen and go, uh-oh, say Look, we Arizona. didn't know. Arizona. 
Arizona's becoming the new rage for the old people, right? Maybe because of no, no well, maybe, pollen and but well, it's yeah. 112 yeah, but All the old people it's said heat, all the old Chris. people said, "Fuck, we could right. we could get around America a lot faster. Let's move south and live in Florida." Right, but now maybe they're starting to figure out it's not the it wasn't the greatest idea after all, and now yeah. they're trying out Arizona. It's happening as we speak. It's, a, it's ten thousand degrees. People, you can't escape it. It's happening as we speak. But in general, I think we uh, our ancestors figured this shit out. I like a long dealing time with ago. the snow. I'll take the snow. I feel comfortable that even if there's some evil snowstorm, yeah. that we could still make it. You've been through. to L.A. They don't have a lot of large buildings. Well, because of the earthquakes, man. Yeah. Well, uh, there was a time they were building large buildings. And they True. kept being knocked down, saying, like what San the Francisco. fuck are we doing? True. San Francisco had to be knocked down a few times before they realized you can't just... But well, why didn't the they realize, get out of there? See, that's, that's, I that's think, going I, to your, your thing. Okay, we, I why think... Why not, let's get the hell out of here. The, it was later on, and they started looking at it and going, we can, this is a great place, we can beat this shit. Yeah. Oh, now yeah. let's start putting shock absorbers yeah, in the we building. we are pompous. And stuff. We, we can beat this we shit. We can beat this shit. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just build uh, shorter buildings. Shorter buildings. And that's our problem. We can beat this. Just, you might as well just yeah, live as best though. you can. But everyone man. jokes about Tornado Alley and, you know, why don't they leave? It's just poor people. They're just... That's, they can't just go. Where else are they going to go? That's what they got. That's, Where are they that's going? It for you them. just can't just get up and go when you're poor. And that's if you it. don't have a big extended family somewhere, where, can, where are you going to go? Where I'm are just, they going? I'm just... You know what? I think I'm going to go on to New York. Let's let's rustle up the, the horses and ride out of... Like, well, Jed, fucking... Jed, pack up the car. <laughs> We're going to New York. What businessman that owns a big company is going to take the chance to build like a huge Walmart in the middle of Tornado Alley. Seriously. Well, there are a few of those, but... Well, you think, yeah. okay, let's let's take it... Uh, when they finish building a new World Trade Center, right? Yeah. You, are business people going to still rent rent uh, office space in there? Yeah, because just like uh, uh, San Francisco thought they had the earthquake quakes figured out and fixed it, we can fix it. Yeah. Now we got defenses in place. They, you know, odds are Arab it's going to be buildings. very hard for them to get a hold of a few fucking passenger jet airlines these days. Very hard for them to pull that off again. Let's. That's a one-time deal. Let's say hi to Jim in Colorado. Jim? Oh, hey, how's it going there? Uh, I was just calling to say that uh, most of our uh, cities and stuff like Boston and Chicago were uh, Indian villages. Yeah, the Indians and, uh, had a And few, they've been here for quite some time. They had a few hundred years themselves to figure out where to live. Yeah. That's right. And then we, we killed them with... Uh, <laughs> killed those motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm glad he said that. That's funny. Dude. Well, they, they, we murdered them all, took their land, because they said, damn, these engines are living pretty damn good. They did all the work for us, and then we yeah. swept in and said, yeah, this Don't is a good place build to live. here. No. <laughs> Winter, no buffalo come. <laughs> No, build them here. No. Big wind <laughs> sent down to destroy planes. We live... Oh, so you're saying here's cool? Yes. Here, good place. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank now, you. You know something? That's actually genius, man. Anything that mm. makes sense makes sense to me, man. That, that, that make makes sense. a lot of sense. The Indians came. They were here. They were, How long have you mm. been here? Mm, two. Many moons. Many moon. <laughs> many, many moon. Right. And it's like, all right, nice talking to you. Here's some liquor mm. and some corn. Well, and nice an, talking anything to you. bad happened here? No, but last village, big spinning wind god come. <laughs> Take village away. <laughs> spinning wind god. Okay, we don't live where spinning wind god is. <laughs> right. right. I gave my daughter last month, me give daughter last month, still, spinning wind god. Spinning wind god. <laughs> then we move, we move further so more warmth, and we go to water, but then big spinning water god come <laughs> and take village away. Oh, we're spinning water god. We don't want, I don't like the sound of him. Where, did, where else I don't he like go? the sound of him. Built, uh, went west, further toward where sun set him, and uh, set then... Him. Big shaky God, shake our village down. I'm, we don't, well, I'm glad God. you're seeing it my way finally. <laughs> that, See? The Indians, there's some logic okay, in this. That's, yeah. that's, okay, there's like, some logic in I this. I go with that because at least it gives the Indians the. It, it, <laughs> I like a story that makes white people the white people the villain. The bad guys. <laughs> Obi's story. White people was like, "Hey man, we came here and we were building. That, that, that's what we did." But it's like, okay, the Indian thing I can go with. I, I said like answer. I mean, a long time ago. I mean, Tornado Alley is not all of a sudden gonna be. The East Coast, <laughs> big wind, big spinning we were wind. Big god. spinning windum god. <laughs> we we absolutely, as white people, were not the bad guys in that either. I gotta defend Whitey when it comes to the engines and the United States of America. Uh, Patrice is looking at me like I'm insane. How? 
hell? You know what? This that's so outrageous. Please it, defend slavery first. <laughs> first. Cause, cause, cause that's so outrageous that you would say we're not the bad guys in this. I have to explain why. You. That's why they own the. They own these casinos now because of your goddamn guilt for that's what you fine. did to them. Go. That's not guilt. That's them finally coming around and saying, let's assimilate and find out how to make some money off of these white people. No, that's like we, because they didn't, they said, okay, listen, this is what we fucked you over so bad. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you this land and we're not going to, our government has nothing to do with what you do. So they got smart and built fucking casinos yeah. and they can't, they can't tax them. Right. They can't do all of that shit. It was like, it was classic. We're sorry for what we did. Right. Because we'd have absolutely been able to say we're going to tax. You, we're gonna do this and go fuck yourself. What are you gonna do about right, it? Right, man, yeah. it's guilt. But but in the beginning here, I'm talking when we first came over, as a as a race of explorers and conquerors, criminals. Well, no, um, you know what? It's it's a different time now. <laughs> doesn't uh, let me let me ask you something. It sure you ever, is. You ever play Monopoly? This you ever play Monopoly? <laughs> yes. Doesn't your strategy change from the beginning of the game to the middle to the end of the game? Yes. The beginning of the game of what I call civilization on Earth. Okay. I call it the different. beginning of imperialism. <laughs> it myself, was different. But. You went somewhere. If you were stronger than who was there, you took their shit. If someone else was stronger than you, they took your shit. Up until a certain point when we started figuring out, maybe this isn't right now because of the times we're living in. But at the beginning, mm. it was all a matter of coming over, <clears throat> kicking ass, and taking the property. Conquering. The, the beginning of Monopoly. Are what do you, you do? Saying... Click, click, click. Move your dog. Move your thimble. Buy. Buy it. I'm buying. I'm buying this. I'll buy that. Everything you land on, you buy, buy, buy. Then once you have the shit, now you start negotiating. I'll trade you uh, Park Place. For all the yellows. Yeah, but I'll how do you tra trade what you took? That is, it, you can't it's the beginning of the game. Yeah. It's you're a conqueror. That's you're right. leaving your nation, is going to some unknown land. Those weak, oh, yeah. those that weak all the that was the time. If they can't hold you, their you, shit, the criminals came from England with muskets. Criminals. And and they were like all these poor people who all they had to do was was relax. They didn't eat know their turkey. They could have come here and there could have been fifty foot giants with laser beam eyes uh, and kick their fucking ass. The balls they had to come over here, <laughs> oh not knowing God. who was over here. You mother It was their luck that there was some fucking travoy dragon you know not invented the wheel yet, motherfucker. You know Anthony, Massa Johnson was an adventurer. I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a stroke of luck that there were people that hadn't even invented the wheel yet that was sitting here hunting, living off the land, that we could come here and kick their ass oh, and take their shit. But that's not a defense for It right. is absolutely. That is what was happening in the world back then. It was the norm. That is absolutely, it was accepted behavior in this world. So now it's not accepted behavior. Right, the game changed. So, but we still, we still embrace... The, 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 what you're saying, how we got it, that this how country knows it. it was wrong, but you still embrace what you, what you did. You realize the ideology is wrong, but you nope. still embrace what you did. I do. It wasn't a, wrong. a lot of people don't. It's not a common, it's not a popular, uh, ideology to have. I, I embrace Give it. Give it back to the Indians. I look saying. at it like it wasn't, was, it, it wasn't wrong for the time. No, <laughs> you hopped on ships. That's all the rage, conquering. <laughs> it was conquer. That's what people did back then. What are you doing? I'm an explorer. I'm a conqueror. Yeah. That was pretty much when, it. When you look back now, it looks, uh, looks a little ugly, sure, but at the <laughs> time, it wasn't wrong. You balls you had to have to hop on a wooden ship. Uh, take a couple why? of months to cross an ocean. Why? When you was relaxing in Spain. Because you, you needed more land. To send your people where? To, to kick them? some ass, to like be the was, top dog. Like it was never immigration until 1900. The criminals... Let me tell you. How could you be a criminal when there was no one had a say on who owned what? Because England threw the stinking pilgrims out. That's what Australia is. Australia is a prison criminals. colony. A bunch of criminals that England they got were rid of. This country was founded by criminals. There's no they weren't explorers. Sent. No, Australia's different. The criminals were sent over there. And so they were sent but here. The pilgrims were fucking criminals from, from England. Right. They were having problems with the English government. They came. They were adventurers. Oh, yes, they, they, they were. The, you know, they, they get the fuck out of our country is that right. what they, that's what they were they weren't like explorers 
okay, I'll give you that they would get the fuck out of our country, but they were explorers. They didn't know what was in there. They didn't know what was over here. They were thrown out. If I throw you out the house, okay, here's what they call homeless people now. Homeless people should be called explorers because you throw a motherfucker out. <laughs> it's like he's an explorer now because he, he, he lives in a box 80, 80 blocks away. <laughs> hey, this motherfucker just explored 12th Avenue. <laughs> I invented 12th Avenue. You know I found it. I found it. It, 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 it's, it it's they, not, were they weren't sent, explorers. They were sent over. Columbus was sent over as an explorer to explore the new world. He was a conqueror. I give you him. And he yeah. didn't even conquer everybody, but he was a conqueror. Well, that guy conquer. was a conqueror. Hey. England was conquerors. How about right. how about the tribes in Africa? You don't think they were doing the same shit? They're still doing that shit. Yes, yeah, so those motherfuckers think... are still cutting each other up. You don't think the tribes land. in Africa are looking for better places to live? And Can I be honest with you? I'm going to be honest with you two yeah. white gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell sir. you something yeah. about my history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing that I never grasped and I have to grasp. Somebody has to teach me this. Yeah. Is how were because that's the first thing white people say when it comes to slavery. You sold yourself. Right. Right. I don't understand what that means. I don't understand how black people had to do with. I don't get it. I There's don't like get, the vi I don't the get village it. like head muckety muck guy who would make a deal with the uh, Europeans uh, that uh, would come over with the boats and uh, sell his people or another tribe that they would capture to the uh, whitey. So Roots was, was, was a lie. That white um, people just came in with a couple of things and tied around your neck and stole yeah, some black people? I think it would be a, difficult for a bunch of Europeans to, to circumnavigate the jungles to go finding you guys and bringing them into a boat. <laughs> find you guys. I think it's easier <laughs> to get a muckety muck that knows the lay of the land. Go yeah. find you guys. Who needs their Who needs their ass? You put a you put a middleman in there. He knows right. where the good Fuck spots that. are. You go risk getting your ass eaten. Huh? You think I could stay on the shore here, close to the boat? Come <laughs> run out the jungle. <laughs> they eat assholes. <laughs> Don't go in there. <laughs> Motherfucker spot like that. Hey, don't come make back, a deal. Cracker. Make a deal with somebody that knows the testicle. lay of the land. <laughs> Y'all just accept that shit. That, that, white people always think a way to absolve themselves from guilt. It's like, hey, that's what they was doing back then, look, conquering. Look, hey, y'all, we made deals. Once we figured out you guys actually were human beings, then, <laughs> then <laughs> that's when the problem started, and it had to be remedied, and slavery had to be abolished. I, but at first, I don't believe gotta, slavery. I don't. I, I don't believe slavery. Uh, this could. You got to give it. I don't think it was. I don't think it was personal at first. Right. I, it's business. business. Because now I just don't think that black people aren't slaves because anybody became. Good people. I just think, what you gonna do? Have a nigga fax something? You know, fax this nigga? Or, <laughs> hey, yeah. or, hey, we you know, got we got educated. You gotta give us a break, man. You know, like, we're, we're said, the process this shit, yeah. motherfucker. You we're know what I mean? It's like I think that it it, it became. It just reached a point that where slavery wasn't a viable thing anymore. It you wasn't. Vi it was because I don't think that we're not slaves because. It's such a wonderful place now. It's just it. It just it is what it is. Techno it's just no place for it. When the cotton gin came around and they don't, they didn't. It yeah. could pick thousands more whatever pounds right, of right. cotton yeah, an yeah. hour than a black guy. It was like, hey, who needs slavery? Nice talking to you. And I'm not saying, oh, it wasn't racist, because that was one of the things implemented I think there to were keep a few us in things, control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It but was also Lincoln's idea uh, of of fucking the South. Right. The, the South ran on slaves. Ran on slaves. And you take that away, and now you're fighting a war with the South. All of a sudden, you take away what d does their work. That's why Lincoln... Lincoln wasn't this, you know, I love black people. Right. No. Free this, slave. this is morally that. reprehensible, and we... That's like the selling point. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter was, I want to break the South's spine. That's what I we're going to do. I think that this country is, it, like you said, poor people... It's the it there it's a thing for poor people. It's a it, it's it's very sensible to put two po a poor white man. The best weapon you can use against a poor white man is convince him that this country's yours. And really, it's not yours. It's to convince him like, hey man, you know what? There's a nigga living better than you. Some rich <laughs> white guy going, a nigga's down the street living better than you. <laughs> Go get him, white man. This is the white man's country. Go get him. <laughs>
Cause you go go get them. Cause it, it's a it's a dream you selling that, that entitlement shit. Where you go, how the hell can I be broke? How can I how can I watch t this? Is why white people hate T O. And uh, how can I watch this nigga who's making this much millions of dollars? And I should be doing that. And this is my goddamn country. Do you think that thinking is still going on widespread? Motherfucker, people from Poland. Entitlement. Are, uh, people from Poland are in the clan saying, get out of my country. P Polish descendants are saying, you are, and go back to Africa or whatever you're going to do. And I'm like, you just got here last week. You, your people just got here, you Polak. How can you be racist? It's a, it's not, it's not the fault of the people that we're this way when it comes to racism. We need racism I don't to think keep it going. I don't think it's racism, <clears throat> though. I don't think it's race. I think it's just economics. I think any poor guy looks and goes, "I'm entitled." White, black, or anything. Black guys will walk around all the time and go. I ain't fuck working at McDonald's, motherfucker. I see this guy at IBM making money. I ain't fucking. And, and it's like, how about you start there? Wait, when did you and work yourself up? Uh, some TV uh, show. It was, I, it was I ain't last night. No motherfucking McDonald's. No, you know, it, it just it's it's people seem entitled. Yeah, they look at other more successful people, black or white, and go. You know, what the fuck? Why is this guy living better it's than me? It's more divide and conquer. Because yeah. most, most of the McDonald's is nothing but young black kids. But that's what? another fuel mm -hmm. for these, these goofy Africans and Haitians that come over. And they go, you disgust. They, show, they do what you did. Because yeah. there's a Haitian doing an impression of a black kid going, I ain't going to work in no motherfucking McDonald's. So that they go, how can they do this when they, they had the, the thing with the thing in McDonald's? <laughs> I, I work so hard to make not this a one cent, one a mess cent. <laughs> they pay you $5 an hour just to flip a, bu a burger. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> here's a question I got. Get on, man. Here's a question I got. Why are you guys why? still holding a grudge? What? We have to. Why? I'm gonna tell you why. We turned you on to America. You know why? Let me tell you. Let me this tell is you. A great place. Let me tell you. You what wouldn't I have be here for America. Us. Ready? Jesus. Ready? Here is the problem. All right. And All we right. had nothing to do with this shit. It, but you take. Out us. But you take white. You take whiteness. Mm -hmm. Whiteness, whiteness and blackness. This is another thing. We have that color thing that black people took black. I like I said, I'm half Asian. Like I'm really not from slavery. For right. real, for real. Like my family, it doesn't go back that far. Mm -hmm. It's just, but I take slavery. You take whiteness. You know what I'm saying? Right. When you you do you have a personal history. You're not a colonial white guy no, who no. owned a slave. You're Irish, right? No. What are you? I'm a mutt. You then you're not, you know, I'm a little bit of that black people have. Ready? Here's the fucking problem. Mm -hmm. The reason why it seems that Jews, right, have moved on from the Holocaust, meaning the Holocaust is a separate entity from their existence. They go, This is a part of our history. But we they done moved on. Never to like, be forgotten. Never to be forgotten. But they will still do business with a smile with Mercedes Benz. It, exactly. Yeah. But what happened with black folks? Here's the problem. We I said this years ago. We do not have a Hitler. We do not have a a, a group that we can go like white people are our Hitler. We are a color that we just don't like white people because it's that's the mustache y'all got. The <laughs> white skin is the Hitler mustache. We don't. There's no finality for us. It's just like, okay, you free, nigga. Uh, can we have, like, you know, this guy, John uh, Skimpenbrook, who started slavery? We don't even have a... a the, 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 we don't have the originator of slavery. We have a picture of the motherfucker. No closure. And no closure. You need the guy. We, we, we need America's something great. to go, hey, not, America is great, but, but you got to still be... be up, you need America's a guy that great. can be put up on a dartboard. That we can go, that okay, can, right. okay, white person, I don't have to dislike We're, you. Just because you're white, I can dislike mm -hmm. uh, Hitler face over right, here. Right, right. I can... You need a symbol. Jews yeah. have Hitler. Right. And about eight other motherfuckers you can name by name. Himmler, Heimlich... Uh, 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 Mengele. They got watch a that bunch Heimlich of maneuver. That's the, when they sweep around the earth. Is it Heydrich? Not Heimlich. Heydrich. Whatever. Patrice, Heinrich where, would you, where would your people be if it wasn't for slavery? Would you would you have come over? We would be. Would you have come over to America under your terms? We would think? be. We would be in Africa, not not comparing our existence to anything. We yeah. would. We would be like. Huh? We wouldn't. We'd be in Africa, living how we live. But there's yeah. no. There would be no. Damn, I wish I was over there with them white people and Indians. It, we would just be living how we live. Who the hell knows how we'd be there living? There would probably also be immigration. 
People coming over here, being successful. We would probably went to without England. Without any of it. Mm-hmm. Right. Which Go is what England. they're doing now. England, yeah. England is dealing with Africans now. That's why there's, there's racism in Ireland now. Yeah. Because ne- there wasn't because there was no, no blacks there. Now mm-hmm. there's blacks there. And they're like, what the who are you motherfuckers? But they need blacks to come over and work. They need, they're growing like that. Yeah. So I'm saying that's what our anger is. Our anger is we just... We we just free and now we just live with you. Like, hey, how you doing? Uh, we don't even we don't bother with you guys anymore. We're, it's all about but the Arabs. Jews, they don't look. <laughs> Jews have a way to not Arabs are the new niggas. That's why I'm That's so right. happy that yeah. they're how they are right now. Now we got somebody else. Somebody else that a black on. person can know what it's like to be a racist. White and black alike can just. Not stand somebody can, can, can not can really like hate together. See, this uh, might together. help us all out. <laughs> Come on, let's hold help. hands. Thank you, terrorists. Hold that hands. Come on, by on. Let's go. Come on. Let's sing We Shall Overcome. Thank you, terrorists, so much. Because I know how to be racist. They united. <laughs>